Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome to another expensive house review video thing, vlog, reaction video. Today, we are taking a look at the top 10 most expensive YouTuber homes. In brackets, David Dobrik, Logan Paul, Ace Family, James Charles. This is from a channel called Trend Central. Half a million views though, so they can't be wrong. So let's take a look at um, the house I'm gonna be able to buy with my YouTube, YouTube is some fortune. Seriously big business. I mean, yeah. It transformed normal, regular kids into that celebrities. All of a sudden, anyone and everyone could upload their very own videos. Regular Joes who would have otherwise worked nine to five quickly okay. rose to fame from the comfort of their own bedrooms. Yeah, These it's true. These make some serious bucks too. The I mean, more views, the more advertising dollars, the bigger okay. the payday. And just like any celebrity, can we get to the, the houses? Money, what are you on? Okay. David Dobrik. I don't really know who he is. Superstar began I've heard his of him. career as a 17 year old on the now defunct platform Vine back in 2013. 17? However, after his seven seconds of fame was over and Vine went bust, he switched to YouTube. I mean, it was a while ago. Back since, amassing over holy 18 crap. million subscribers over his two channels and racking up over 8 billion views. Oh, he's one of those ones. Now I'm really loud and I prank people and I do drama things. I hate that shit. $7 million. So it's no surprise he I mean, it paid off for him, but bedroom, not my thing. Mansion in the Long Ridge Estates neighborhood. Why do you need seven bathrooms? Why is what is with this giant open space? Of Sherman Oaks. Dobrik apparently paid nine point five million dollars. Is that wine? Yeah. For the seventy-eight four hundred balls of wine. Been looking mm, to buy for a couple of months. Similarly, pool's the nice. Mansion. This house is also that's ugly. That fireplace is ugly. So accommodated. Why? His mansion. This house is also a common. You need. Why is there? Are these museum pieces? Why are there six? Why is there a purse? Why is there a light? You gotta put your purses up there, and you have to illuminate them, because I want to see what they look like lit up. That weighs power. What do you? What do you? Why? Before him. However, this time around, David hopes that his fans. I mean. I like this little area right here, but I'd end up falling off. ...will respect his privacy and stop visiting his house. With the security that his house entails, I'm sure that's very possible. Logan Paul. I mean, Paul. Logan ooh, Paul. everyone's Paul favorite person. Known ...for his crazy stunts and antics on the now-dead video app Vine. Thank God. ...transferring his success over to dual YouTube channels with a total subscriber base of 27.3 million. Controversially pushing the envelope hasn't always... Controversially pushing the envelope? Controversially being a dick. In his favor, but you better believe that numbers like that translate into fat stacks of cash. He snapped up a home they in do. The San Fernando Valley, LA, for six point six million dollars. It's really actually pretty nice for six million on the outside, at least. Almost twenty million dollars at just twenty-five years old. Inside, mm -hmm. no expense has been spared. Uh, With seven bedrooms. What? Wait, what was? I was like, that's. Is that a penis? What is that? Spared with seven bedrooms and nine bathrooms, a fully decked out gym, podcast studio, and polished concrete and marble in every decadent room. The boys can chill out and watch a yeah. movie in a private home cinema, and those crazy parties are well supplied by the wine cellar below. Outs you think Logan Paul's knocking back a bunch of really expensive wine each night? Side, it's a monstrous estate. The home looks like a ski resort in the Hamptons, while the huge no. It doesn't. Huge pool and entertaining area give the palace a holiday resort vibe. The ultra not really green grass. Is that a boxing ring? Back covering more area than a football field. Jake. That's called a big yard. Paul. Younger oh boy. Brother Jake Paul is also his a YouTube star with slightly more assholeish brother. <laughs> Looking to outdo his big bro, he dropped nine million dollars on a stupidly big mansion, reportedly annoying all his neighbors with party after party. The exterior of the home gives I don't like this guy's voice. Vibe, and there's a <laughs> 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 
His cadence is annoying. Waterfall. The entrance leads to a spiral. That's way too much white paint. That winds all the way up it's almost doors. blinding. The sound echoing around the house sounds like they're in a church. He shares the house with his friends. As Echo well is as the worst. For social media standouts. The home he is lives with his management company. Ultra modern. Covers 15,000 square feet and has absolutely everything. Home cinema, Does it? Full gym, indoor sauna It doesn't room, have a nice library, paint job. You name it, they have it. This is... I like these light bulbs, but this is garishly sterile. That's the word. That's the word I'm looking for. And the master bedroom has a glass it's just, sealed It's like a hospital room for de-stressing after a long day of counting his 19 million dollar fortune. Like that car. Ace family. Not a big fan. The Ace family is headed by ex NCAA basketball guard Austin and ex Victoria's Secret model Catherine. They initially focused Who? on making prank and challenge videos, but since having two small children, their YouTube channel has shifted toward more wholesome family based content. That's good. That's a good start. Contributing to a I hate prank channels. Net worth. They built a $10 million forever home that was actually initially too. You think it's a forever home? You think they're going to live there forever? No celebrity lives in these houses forever. Because the taxes are like a quarter million dollars a year. Once YouTube goes tits up and fails, what are they going to do? Oh, this is the one that, that Felix checked out. What about the balls and the chain? That's another sterile looking environment. Stark white. It's not exactly 180 view, is it? You have walls. Like, there's, that, that's a wall. That's a wall right there. That's also a wall. Mountain range and sunset. There's a gaming room with retro arcade machines and even an orange felt pool like that, table to like match that. their Lambo. Oh, shit. Not an orange felt pool table. Let's not forget their crazy infinity pool with a view to die for. If I live there, I don't think I... Why do you need this many shoes? Like, if I was a millionaire, I'd probably still keep wearing the same shoes that I have. I don't need... What's this? A hundred pairs of shoes, and you're gonna wear three I'd of them? Get bored of that site. It's wasteful. James Charles. <laughs> Beauty and makeup icon James Charles made his start. At least I know who James Charles is. 2015, when he was just 16 years of age. Since then, the beauty guru has built a massive empire that doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. He's racked up okay. a wild. I want to see his house. Subscribers on his channel that shares his name, and each video cool. of his averages to at least five million views, which is almost unheard of in the beauty scene. The views alone is bring it? in this baby-faced entrepreneur. I thought the beauty scene was actually like really popular. Year, with the New York beauty mogul worth around 12 million dollars, his side gigs okay. have also netted him a pretty penny. Opening the Morph Cosmetics store in the UK and becoming okay. the first male spokesman. Okay, where's his house? Brand cover girl. <laughs> All this cash, this cash, yes. brand manner. James just splashed okay. out on a spacious seven million dollar starter mansion in Los Angeles. The hell's a starter this mansion? Six bedroom, ten bathroom res. Oh, six bedroom, ten, ten bathrooms. It's a starter mansion. Why do you need ten so bathrooms? With you can poop in a different one every day of the week. Indoor spa and sauna, games room and lounge, wine cellar, movie theater, and... Okay, James. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Wine cellar, movie... You're doing it right. Look how dark that movie room is. That's how it's supposed to be. Good job. I don't like those glass. That's just the inside. Yeah, I don't know. Out back, the pool and spa are surrounded glass closets. by a cabana and large open kitchen and entertaining area. Yeah, James I mean, that's kind of nice. Athletic type. What's with all the basketball courts but and the tennis courts and stuff? A hoop and a half court just in case. These are really hard to maintain, especially if you live in Canada. With the frost in the ground, it's going to crack that. It's going to fall apart. All of this I play sports like I do. It's, it's, he's forgiven. Phase Clan. A family that lives and plays together, games and slays together. The FaZe Clan are a group I've of friends. I've heard of FaZe, but I have no idea who they are. Esports and are world famous for their videos of them pulling off some amazing trick shots. Ten of the founding members rent out an insane house in Burbank, California. Imagine living with ten of your friends. I know when you're super, super young, you're like, oh, that'd be amazing. I'd love to live with ten of my friends. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. You get ten dudes trying to like poop in the same toilet. And they're all eating all your food, and they stink, and it's just house, so they can enjoy yeah, I mean, terrible. In private. Each I like the privacy. Has a full gaming and streaming setup with blinding fast, low latency internet connection. The backyard is made. 
I have blinding fast, low latency internet connection. You don't need to be a millionaire to have that. Featuring a full size soccer field and goals, outdoor fireplace, and that's kind of nice area. area. Human sized chessboard, huge jungle gym, and swings. Huge jungle gym and swing set. This looks like the one that, like, you can get at Walmart. You can get this for like a thousand bucks, you know, maybe a bit more than that, but you can buy this. You don't need to be a millionaire to, to buy this. You can build one. A tree house and a full size gym. A tree house with enough room for two grown men. Maybe. The property comes with not only an in ground pool, but its own private lakes. I like those alligators. The previous occupant, Justin Bieber, installed gigantic. Oh, oh, good, Justin Bieber. That's. Statues by the lakeside. I wouldn't buy a house that was owned by Justin Bieber just because it was owned by Justin Bieber. I had to bring in a couple priests and some like spirit water to cleanse it. Fishing, chilling out, the guys can do it all and enjoy the summer without ever having to leave home. Not to mention hosting some epic parties. Epic. Not lately, huh? Jeffree Star is a true entrepreneur. He was one of the earliest At least I've heard of him. celebs, starting out as a moderately successful MySpace musician. From there, he's grown a really? hugely popular YouTube makeup beauty channel with his own line of cosmetics. Remember MySpace? That was the thing at one point in time. He's worth well over $200 million. Holy when you're a larger than life crap. flamboyant character, you have to live like one too. That includes cruising around you don't in, have to live like one. in all designer clothing, dripping with gold and diamonds, as well as dropping $14.5 you could just million have your money and in the Uber like, like do some charity work and do some good things for society be a good person and not have a giant stupid house and is most definitely keeping up with the joneses with his ultra luxury castle the home wraps around the pool and bungalow area on three sides overlooking the valley no, it's too big yes entering the nine bedroom 14 like what if I lived there with just my family? Which I would, because I wouldn't invite anybody else to live with me. What am I doing with all that space? It's too big. It's too much. No expense has been spared. There are even slushy and popcorn machines in his full size. It's nice, nice cinema room, though. Cinema and pinball machines fill the secret gaming room nearby. Secret gaming room. Casey Neistat revolutionized the way money is made on YouTube. Casey's a cool guy. He started off in a trailer park and figured out that building a channel and tapping into the infinitely more lucrative market of paid sponsorship was the way ahead. By doing away with boring oh, yeah. ads and embedding products into his content, Nike paid for his trip around the world. He's filthy rich, too, buying a $3.7 million... I've seen Casey's house before, and it's, it's expensive, but it's modest. Also, at the same time, Casey's a guy that house in Venice, California. you can tell actually built around he's not over, with over my, like, in mind. he doesn't go the too crazy. Glass walls can be opened up, combining the outdoor party area with the kitchen and living room into yeah, one like that's, big poolside playpen. It's thin because the it's California. The inside and out uses a design based off the look of a classic Swedish sauna. The timber textures are picked up in all of the furniture. Even like, I like that. Couches, it's it's small. And tables. A lot of the second story ceiling consists of exposed timber beams and glazing I like the timber the beams up to amazing natural light the master bedroom opens up into a private courtyard and an awesome yeah. view of the beach I like that Manny Koshman. that's nice Unlike other Casey YouTubers, got a nice house Manny Koshman didn't make his money online instead Who? raking in his 80 million dollar fortune over three decades buying and selling real estate and is a true self oh. man he uses his channel to give the public a glimpse into the daily life of the ultra rich I hate that if, if you have some kind of wealth, don't make your channel into a, oh, look at the size of my penis. <laughs> like, I hate that. Don't gloat. Be happy with what you have and try to make the world a better place. Don't sit there and boast about how much better you're off than everybody else. With showroom down lights and suites of antique armor to house his collection of exotic cars. The house is so big. Exotic cars. Another thing. What are you going to do with them? There's 30 of them just sitting there collecting dust in a garage. One of those cars is enough to feed a family for like five years. Yet you're just collecting them like dinkies and There's an letting them rot. Going from the basement right up to the second floor. Too Every much. Every ceiling is ornately decorated with decorative recessed it's plastic, ugly. orange marble, and natural tone. Orange the marble? Is grand, opulent, and everything you would expect from someone so rich that money is not a limiting factor. The I guarantee you, money's a limiting factor. Paved in stone money does not last forever. Fire pit and views of the valley below. One percent. 
Eh. One percent are a group of six professional Ooh. Fortnite players who decided it was better to pool oh. their funds together and buy one absolute boss level house. Where I've never heard of them. All live and play together. Not a bad lifestyle, powered purely by their massive viewer base. Another one with like ten people living in one house. What happens if one of them gets married and has Super kids and stuff? You think they're gonna the want to drive live in a house with nine other dudes? Mansion with an entryway framed. But it's too late by that point because you've already invested half a million dollars into it. Huge stone columns. In the It'll main hallway is a full height, 160 bottle wine display cabinet. Just for looks, though, as none of the guys drink it. The previous owners left a white baby grand piano in the living room, played on by old Blue Eyes himself, Frank Sinatra. Each of the team have their own bedroom, mini Ugh. lounge room, and bathroom, decked out with a top-of-the-line gaming PC and streaming desk. The theater room has a projector and wall screen Another with white plush, room. comfy recliner chairs. Off to the side is the obligatory games room with air hockey and foosball tables. It's pretty small, actually. Arcade games. Outside, there's a party area with a pool that leads to an infinity-edge hot tub, perfect for chilling with friends. Uh, apparently that's it. Oh my. So that was uh, something, wasn't it? It just basically showed me that a lot of people are pretentious and like to show off without actually making a difference in the world. But it's also slightly inspiring in the fact that I'd like to get that kind of wealth so that I could actually help people out. Think Mr. Beast, who I believe is doing a lot of really good in the world. But yeah. That was um, the top 10 most expensive YouTuber homes. If you liked it, and if you liked any of those homes, let me know in the comments down below. And if you're any of those YouTubers, sorry for shitting all over your house, but some of them were shit, sorry. Keep being awesome, everyone. Be safe, be kind to each other, and I will see all of you in the next video.